So we can look again at ramps. There's a few here, some back here. They're kind of scattered all over the garden now. I originally planted them in one location here by the yurt, but they have spread now uh, several hundred yards in every direction. I'm not sure what it is that is spreading them. So typically if you buy ramps around here, down here the way you buy ramps is some guy is parked beside the road and he's got a bunch of ramps on the hood of his car and he's just sitting there waiting for you to pull in and buy them. And what they do around here is they dig them up. <laughs> they go into the woods with a mattock or something. I didn't get a very good job on that one. Uh, which is not a good thing to do. I mean, I'm doing this for the purpose of <laughs> demonstration, but we don't like to dig up ramps. We do it the American Indian way, which is just to pick the top of the plant and leave the root in the ground, and that way they're going to be fully perennial, and they'll be there for years to come. Uh, if you dig them up, then obviously that you killed the plant. If you should, they're usually all in with lots of tree roots. Bulb has a little what they call a tunic, which makes them very easy to clean. Just slips right off. So this little part down here at the bottom is technically called a rhizome, even though it's only like a sixteenth of an inch long. And sometimes you'll get double ones or maybe even triple ones coming off of the same root. Uh, if you should happen to get a hold of something like this, you can cut the bottom off and replant it because it is a rhizome. So you wouldn't have to kill the plant in order to eat it. But better, I think, is we just take a knife and slip it in the ground and cut them off. We try to get a little bit of the white and the red and the green. And restaurants will buy that once it's explained to them the uh, ecological issues involved, uh, one of which is that around here, at least, they're not making seeds very often, but seeds is the only way they propagate. If you get in the woods, you can see places where there's carpets of ramps almost as far as you can see, it's just solid ramps. Uh, but they're not all connected up. Those are all, each one of those grew from a seed. And in the, over the past... 40 years that I've been working with ramps, I notice a huge decline in the amount of seeds. It just less and less, making less and less seed, less and less often, which I attribute to climate change because we are at the southern end of their range. We're at the, right here where I am is the southern end of a lot of stuff, like the southernmost paper birches in America are on top of Mount Mitchell, but probably not for long <laughs> because everything's moving north. So I speculate that that's why we are getting, seeing less and less ramp seeds, but it makes it that much more important to, uh, well, A, when you can get some seeds to plant them, and B, to not dig up the plant, just take the top, you know, and then we'll have these giant ramp coves will be here theoretically more or less forever, I suppose. I don't know what the natural lifespan of a ramp might be. So as far as finding seed, what's gonna happen now? These are all gonna disappear. In the next week or so, you can see a lot of them are turning yellow already. And then just shortly after that, it'll put up a flowering stalk. Most people never notice this because by then all this other stuff has grown up. Flower stalk gets maybe a foot tall max. A uh, little green flowers. And then eventually on towards uh, mid-August or into September, little green pods on the top will pop open and you can see the shiny black seeds. Just like onion seeds, if you know what that looks like little shiny black seeds, and that's when you can go and collect them and bring them home and plant them. And we really don't have to do a lot to plant ramp seeds. Basically, you just take them and throw them around uh, if you know the right, you know, if you're in a proper habitat, which is the kind of habitat that has all these other wildflowers like trilliums and blue cohosh and black cohosh and bloodroot and mayapple and all that stuff, uh, Solomon seal. Because right at that time of year, the leaves of the trees are just about to come down. So they will be covered up by the tree leaves. So you don't really need to make rows and plant. I mean, you can if you want to keep track of everything. 
but if you get a hold of a good handful of ramp seeds, you could just broadcast them in the right sort of area.